we had information this afternoon that the a three bed, a, a three story that was being constructed in the area collapsed three people were critically injured and referred to and sent to the hospital and one was trapped under the rubble so as a city member of parliament i needed to rush here to see the situation and see what we can do to assist and then when i got here the fire service had been here and nadmo were, were, were also here uh, unfortunately they did not have the requisite equipment uh, to be able to quickly deal with the situation because when we got here they were using shovels and pick access which was really sad because then it meant that as a people we don't have emergency response equipment and that was very very worrying so i decided to start calling for help uh, we managed to mobilize one excavator one other was on its way coming and in the process we eventually got to the body very sadly the person was dead before we even found the body and it was a very very sad and tragic situation and as we speak now i am calling for the immediate arrest and detention of the owner of this property as well as the contractor because we can continue like this if you look at the the work even from someone who is not a professional you will realize that the 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 the, the if you look at the the iron rods you look at the the, the the concrete that was being mixed and you look at the concrete that had been casted obviously it didn't meet any standard i am hoping that even assembly engineers that may have sanctioned this building contrary to the standards of such buildings must be held accountable because as a people our public safety matters must be taken seriously and it's quite unfortunate that we have lost i mean one soul in this tragic event and I'm hoping that authorities who are seized with power to act in these situations will take the appropriate steps so that we can remedy this situation. So this will not happen again. Remember that a few years back, it happened in Melcom. We lost many people. We said we we're going to improve our building uh, standards and we're going to enforce building standards. Unfortunately, it has happened in Medina. We don't know when it will happen next. And as a country, since we are not ready for such emergencies, we must take all preemptive and preventive steps to make sure that this situation never recurs again.